Hey everybody, and welcome back to the next Unity tutorial series. Today we're going to go ahead and make a game similar to Flappy Birds on Android and iOS. Um, so the first thing to do is go to your build settings and make sure you're on uh, Android. It typically starts off in PC, Mac, standalone, and then you click Android and you go switch platform. Um, after that, download our package from our website for this game and when you import it, it should look like this. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and create our player. And so create an empty game object and let's put this into 000, zero, zero and we're going to call him player. Um, in this game, our main character is going to be an elephant. It's going to look something like this when we finish. So let's get creating it. Um, it's made up of about four pieces, a nose, a mouth, an eye, and an ear, along with his body. Um, the ear and the trunk, or the nose, has its own animation, which we'll be making. So, let's go ahead and create a sprite. And then drag this into the player. And make sure to center this at zero. Zero, zero, zero. So we're going to need at least four or five pieces. So let's copy this. One of these is going to be the body. And one is going to be the ear. And then we have the eye. And then the mouth. and then the trunk. Now you can't just assign one of these uh, images to one of these things yet. There's uh, another step and we need to turn these all into sprites. So select them all and then go from texture to sprite on your import settings and then click apply. And now they're all sprites. So you can drag the sprite to the corresponding object and let's set this to zero. So we're going to want to shrink this stuff all down to uh, 0.3. So let's go 0.3. All right. Uh, let's go to the ear, drag in ear one, set it to zero. Set these all to zero. Uh, let's drag in the eye, then the mouth, and finally the trunk. So let's zoom in on our character. Uh, everything seems to be in the right position. You move the trunk up a little. Eh. That's fine. So the next thing we need to do is set our order layer. So our ear should be at 1, our eye should be at 2, mouth is 3, and our trunk, we're going to leave that negative 1, now let's go to 4, 4, okay, so now it's on top of the face. And this should look pretty similar to that, which it does. So now let's go ahead and make a new file, or a new folder, call it prefabs. And we're going to drag our player into this. After that, we can delete it from the scene. Let's go ahead and save our scene. And make up a name for it. 
So now you have the scene here.